Hey y'all. I know it's been like 5,000 years and 71 minutes since I've been going. But listen, I got a few videos for y'all. So let's start with this one. I'm doing this 90s grunge red eyeshadow look. It's really simple and easy. So let's just get right into it. Okay, so I'm starting off with a fresh face. It's already prepped. I'm going in with e.l.f. Mineral Eyeshadow Primer. And I'm just going to prime my lids. And then I'm going to go in with another primer. I want my eyeshadows to pop, girl. So I'm going to use LA Girls Pro Primer Stick. And I'm going to put this all over the lid, a little bit into the crease, and just blend it out. Actually, I'm not really blending. I'm doing more of a padding motion. So you want to pat and not swipe because that's going to give you the most color payoff in the end. After that, I'm just going to set it with a translucent powder so it doesn't start to shift around once I start applying my eyeshadow. Now I'm going in with my first transition color. This is Makeup Geek's Early Bird. I love this color so much. It's so beautiful. Then I'm going in with another Makeup Geek eyeshadow which is in Morocco or Moroccan, one of those. After that, I'm going to use NARS eyeshadow in the color Persia. I love this eyeshadow. I know I say that about everything, but I really do. But when you think about it, Makeup Geek's eyeshadow in Morocco looks just like this one. I mean, Persian's just a little deeper. But honestly, you can get away with just using Makeup Geek's Morocco. Alright, I'm really not playing about this one. This has to be my top three, one of my favorite eyeshadows in the world. This is Coastal Scents Oktoberfest. This is the perfect transition color for us. It's perfect. It's a burnt brownish orange and this is just going to give that eyeshadow. You can see it just gave the whole eye look a whole new dimension. And now I'm going in with Magnolia Makeup's uh, eyeshadow in Creole Tomato. This is the most reddish red I own like this. Their pigments in general is no joke. Look, look at this shit. As you can see, I spilled it. I got some under my eye. Good thing I didn't have my, the rest of my makeup on, but that was my fault. But as you can see, look how pigmented that eyeshadow is. I didn't want it that bright, so I ended up blending it out. I had to blend it anyway, but I wanted this to be more wearable, daytime look instead of like going out to the club, nighttime look. I usually don't put anything on the bottom lash line, but since I was going for a grunge look, I just used a little bit of that NARS Persia. After that is lashes and mascara, and we are done. I got these lashes from AliExpress, by the way. These are mink lashes. And that is the eye look. Let's move on to the face, darling. For my concealer, I tried to switch it up and use Ruby Kisses Pure Mineral Concealer in the color Light Beige. Ooh, girl, look at it. <laughs> it is light, honey. But you know, I just mixed it with my Pro Concealer in the color Fawn, which is my usual. Um, it's going to be light. It's going to be light. But bear with me, sis. We're going we gonna to make it work. It looks a little lighter as well because I'm going full coverage, darling. Yes. I had to take photos and I really wanted my makeup to look seamless. So we are doing a full coverage beat. Of course, you don't have to use as much makeup as always. But this is just my preference. Now I'm going in with black opal in the color mahogany that's what this color is it's a foundation stick this is full coverage this is my go-to contour color um i love this color so much and i'm just gonna blend it out and this is gonna tone down all that um light color <laughs> and then i'm gonna go in with my foundation combo which is my go-to ride or die this is my exact skin color it looks so good this is Lancome's tint idol 24 hour in the shade 510 and then you have um gleam which is a body radiance it's like a uh, bronzer basically 
and that's in the color bronze gold and it just gives me such good coverage oh my gosh girl you need to try it look at how that looks like sis and you thought I wasn't going to pull through. <laughs> Setting the highlighted areas with my go-to e.l.f. High Definition Powder and Sasha Buttercup Powder. Um, these are both yellow powders. And let me tell you, honey, the Sasha is beautiful on its own, but I love my e.l.f. And the Sasha just kind of deepens up the e.l.f. because it's not dark enough. Now, of course, I'm going OD on the baking. Obviously, you don't have to bake that hard. Next, I'm just going to use this foundation from Iman. This is in the color Earth. I'm using it to dust off the baking powder. It's my color, but it's not my undertone. So, it kind of washed me out a little bit. Um... I don't like it. I like to say yellow because that is my undertone. <laughs> um, but it'll work. It'll work. Once we do our Fix Plus, it'll work. Then I'm going with um, the True Complexion Contour Palette from Black Radiance. And honey, this is amazing. This is the medium to dark palette. So it is the deepest one. I'm using the contour color of the palette and i'm going to contour and then i'm using this highlighter i made um it's trash let's be honest um, i'm gonna be real with y'all it was trash i'm not going to use that ever again uh it was too chunky like it did not work for me i'm going to use my good old trusty fix plus honey we are going to spray the face let the makeup melt together now i'm using my jordana eyeliner pencil in the color java bean this reminds me of cork loki like i use it as a lip liner of course then i'm going in with occ's lip tar metallic in the color authentic this is like a copper shimmer color. I wanted to keep it real grunge, 90s vibe. So of course I went with the copper color and it turned out really good. Like it just complemented each other so well. And of course I did my 90s inspired hairstyle with the two buns, you know, and um, I actually had braids and fox locks in at the same time. And I just love how that looked. I know it's weird, but I loved it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys so much. You know that. Like, I missed you so much. And, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.